Two million people in the United States suffer from poor blood flow to their legs, and the numbers are expected to grow with the increase in diabetics. Surgery can open blocked veins, but it doesn't work 40% of the time. King 5's Gene Anderson shows us a new option. Kathy Balziger's doctor had terrible news. He told my husband that I was about 11 weeks from dying. Kathy was losing feeling in her leg. It's called critical limb ischemia. The arteries in her leg were blocked. Surgery didn't help. And they tried to open the veins up, and after they got into it, they could not do that. Amputation was the next step. He really wanted to take my leg off, but I would just beg and plead and cry and say, don't take it off, just do what you can. They'll often have unresolving um, wounds, wounds that just will not heal because they don't have the blood supply to the tissues. Now an experimental procedure is helping patients who've run out of options. Doctors remove stem cells from the pelvic bone and inject them back into the leg along the diseased artery. If you take those stem cells out and put them into another organ, they can actually function and, and grow a different tissue in the body. In four to six weeks, new arteries start to grow. I know I went from 17% oxygen to over 66% oxygen after my surgery. Today, Kathy toasts her future. He is a good health, a good, good football. And is thankful for a second chance. It was just a miracle. The stem cell treatment costs less than the conventional limb-saving procedures like bypass surgery and stents. I'm Jean Anderson, King 5 Health Link, linking you to better health. Smoking, diabetes, and high blood pressure put patients at risk for critical limb ischemia.